Hey guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps. And we're doing a cold process soap today. And I've had this fragrance sitting over there in my soaping room. I forgot all about it and it smells so good. I couldn't wait to do it. It's blackberry scones. I have I do got embeds to go on top of it and we're gonna be piping the top. So I've just mixed my uh, lye water with my stick blender, putting my lye water in here. I usually have this done, but I didn't have it done yet. So let's give this a mix before we put our cream and our fragrance in. Whoa. That don't sound right. I think my blender just died on me, guys. Alright. See if it'll stay there. Let me get my cream and my fragrance. believe my good blender died on me. Here's my cream. It's just regular heavy cream. Okay. Now our fragrance. Good thing I had a backup blender. Okay, that looks good and mixed. Now, I need to section these off, I need a certain amount for each. So first, our topping. Alright, there's our topping. And then... We need our, I uh, forgot to show you the colors. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So I need one, and then another one for this color. we'll just use this. I just had my cream in it. And this should be the rest of it because this will be my white. That's enough. So let's separate this into these. That's a little too close to the camera, guys. Sorry. So we've got our white, the colors we have, I have orchid purple and a little bit of um, uh, activated charcoal in this one. And then in this one we've got voodoo pink and orchid purple mix. So I really like those colors together. So let me get my white mixed up. <laughs> Top 
shopping. some of this white off I'm definitely gonna have to return that stick blender I've not had it a month and it's already broken on me so I'm gonna have to return it let's set that there for right now and I have got titanium dioxide everywhere all right now for this one is going to be our purple color and this one's going to be our pinkish purple color let's do the pinkish purple first oh I absolutely adore this color it's so pretty that is. Isn't that a pretty color? Alright. Okay. I'm going to get some spatulas. like we only need two. Do these in a second. Let's get our white mixed up. Once I uh, get these mixed up, I can set this one to the side because that's our topping. And this fragrance oil smells amazing. Alright, that's all good and mixed. because it's our topping so we'll set that one over there to let it get let it thicken up and we'll mix these make sure I'm still recording there okay All right, that's good and mixed isn't this dark purple pretty I think it's gorgeous Get my mold, guys. Okay, we are going to do a drop swirl, and the to the topping is going to be piped white, and then I've got some blackberries to go on the top. So I want to drop this in. bit more white. Give it a little tap. From up high. Okay. Now, 
rest of these on top. It doesn't really matter if we put a design on top because I'm piping anyway. So I'm just trying to get it all on there. You can never see the design underneath once you pipe. So the design right now doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to get all of my uh, soap batter on there so I don't waste any. Don't like to waste it. I'm loving these colors together. I bet that's going to turn out really pretty. Even though you won't be able to see the design, I'm still going to swirl it. <laughs> Just to swirl it. Alright, that's all of that. Let's give it one more bang. Get a skewer. Alright guys, that's what here's what it looks like before we pipe it. I don't want to spill it here. Very pretty. So I am just gonna wait for my piping to set up and get that ready. And we'll be back to pipe the top. So hang tight guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Yeah. And it's a little thin, but I think it's alright to pipe, hopefully. It's kinda coming out, but Last one. Yep, the last one. All right, guys, I think that looks pretty good. Let's get some glitter on there. My daughter said she wanted some glitter. So we shall put some glitter. I'm scared. I'm not scared of the glitter. So please. You guys, All right, you move, please. This is my blackberry scone. 
Here's what it looks like. Very pretty. Can't wait to see the drop swirl inside. All right, guys, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and get supper started and put this away, and we'll cut it tomorrow. So until next time, guys, bye-bye. Hey, guys, Crystal here, and we are here to cut our black cold processed blackberry scone. And this is what it looks like. Very pretty. I hope you guys can see it's kind of nighttime here, and I just got my lights on. So let's get her on the cutter here. Let me tighten up my wire. And I have this all the way down because um, I, I didn't really know how to space these blackberries. So each cut is probably going to be a little bit different. And I have my crock pot back here, so don't mind that. There we go. These are going to be some big pieces. Oh, I think this is going to be pretty. Well, that's not too bad. I'm liking it already, guys. Oh, there's the top. Still a little soft, but it's cuttable. Oh, wow. Look at those colors. Isn't that pretty? That's a big old piece. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see if we can get a little end piece off the end of this one. We cut a little bit of the blackberries off, but that's okay. End piece. And now I got it all over my hands. Alright guys, uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And of course comment, love it when you guys comment. I got one more, this was my cold process that I did. And I've got one more hot process that I did this morning that's ready to be cut. So until next time guys, bye bye.